Hey guys, today's topic is very interesting for everyone who's now joining Genesis part 2. And it's about 5 things I wish I knew before joining Genesis part 2. But before we jump into our top 5, if you like my channel and if you like my content, I would love you to give me a like and maybe follow the channel because that shows me that you like the content I do and it shows YouTube that you are interested in the content I make. So those two clicks help me a ton. But now let's jump into my list. Number five, tame a shadow main as fast as possible. I myself took a long while until I tamed my first shadow main and the story about that is in this video. But after I tamed my shadow main, I did not want to miss them anymore. And that's why I started mutating them right away. Shadow mains are so strong that they are able to kill wild gigas without taking damage themselves. They are one of the fastest mounts in the game and they have an integrated saddle with very high armor. And in general they are super strong. If you want to see a separate video about the shadow mains, let me know in the comments and then I will make one. But if you are new to Genesis 2, then try to get a shadow main as fast as possible. Number 4. May wings will make your life so much easier. If you're like me and you have to raise a lot of babies, then you need to have at least one or two May wings. They feed your baby, they carry them around in their little cute baskets and they take care of them. And they can even take care of the very very mean little reaper wormies without them trying to eat you. If you have a walking imprint and those are especially annoying with certain dinos, then you can just make them in the basket. And if your baby really does not want to do the walking imprint, then you can just take your Maywing out and glide around the base and then you will get your imprint for sure. Maywings are early game tames and therefore they should anyway be your first real tame on the map. Do you want to see a longer video about what else the Maywing is good for? Then let me know in the comments. Number 3. Space is your best friend. You fear the lack of resources? Not anymore. You know this one weird player that puts his cube base on top of the metal mountain and all spawns break? It doesn't matter, because the resources in space respawn every day. The asteroids in space will refresh with every new spawn every night and you can get masses of metal, crystal and obsidian out of it and bring them home to build your base. Maybe make sure in the beginning to have a little bit of a box or a vault standing in the tunnel so you don't have to fly back and forward all the time. If you want to know more about the space resources then watch this video that I made about it. Number 2. Don't be unprepared. Genesis 2 is an endgame map. And even though it's possible to join the map as a fresh spawn, the map expects you to join with all tech engrams learned previously. Because also from day one, you will get tons and tons of tech items in the drops and it would be a shame if you would not be able to use them. Starting with a tech base as your first base is completely normal and even our base started as six wooden foundations with a tech generator on top that we found in the drop. If you are looking for a full PvE cluster that has all the maps, then I can only recommend the cluster we play on and that's the Norwegian Vikings cluster. And more infos about that you will see in the description or in our Discord. And you see here is the invitation code. Number one, do as many missions as possible that you need in order to get a strider. If you have access to the dedicated storages and you are able to make them and use them, then you should try to get a strider as early as possible and you need the strider with a parasaur head so with a farming drill on top and the backs on the sides. You can link that strider to a dedicated storage and this strider will send all material map wide into your dedicated storage. The strider connected to the storage in space makes farming so much more easier. I don't think it has ever been that easy before. In the beginning I would focus on the missions that do not require you to have a special gear or special animals and those are the racing missions. Later if you have your shadow main you can do the hunting missions. Your shadow main is totally capable of doing so. And that way you should get enough missions in order to have a low level strider and if I'm completely honest this will be enough for a long time. 
And do you want more info about the Strider? Then tell me in the comments and I'll try to collect everything that we know about the Strider. But this was only my list. Which points are important to you? Let the community know what they have to know before joining Genesis 2. Which tames should they not miss out on? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I would say I'll see you in the next video and I hope you have a great start in your week and see you later. Bye.